As you know, a reducer is a pure function, and every time we handle an action, we should return a new state. To keep this immutability, for example in lower table data, we first take the current state, copy it, then change necessary property, and then return the copy. But actually, using Redux Toolkit we can do it a little bit simpler. Redux Toolkit under the hood uses Emerge.js. That's why instead of copying the state, we can just mutate its properties. For example, here we can replace the whole function with just one line of code. State that is loading equals true. It means we can write mutable code and it will work the same as we would write a mutable one. Now I'm going to update all the REST action handlers. As you see, by using mutable action handlers, we can make the code look a little bit cleaner. But we need to keep in mind that we have to select between two options. We either mutate the state or return a new state. We can't combine them. I'm checking that nothing's been broken. Pagination works. Everything works. And the code looks like mutable. 